It's often described as one of the best kept secrets around, the Ellington. And I hadn't been there myself, so I headed down to downtown Lynchburg to find a venue full of character that caters to a variety of music genres by local and national artists alike. Take a look. The Ellington has been in Lynchburg now for about 28 years. We opened our doors in 1984. And of course, what we are is a, is a theater uh, for music. Uh, the, our main mission is to identify, cultivate, and expose musical talent to the Lynchburg area. And we've been doing this about 28 years. And that's musical talent that's local and national acts as well, right? That's correct. Uh, on, on our, on once a month, we have our national acts. And uh, they d depends on what weekend they come. A person can uh, consult our, our website for what's coming and, and when the, uh, what time we're going to feature them. Then uh, between April and September of every year, every second and fourth of the week, on, on Fridays we have what we call Ellington Fridays. That's what we, we uh, have on our stages. We have our local and regional acts. And what type of genres of music can folks expect You know, when they come out here? Tell us about the Ellington experience. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very wide variety, very diverse. Everything from jazz, blues, Zydeco, Cajun, Latin. We've even had uh, uh, a country and western and also, also uh, uh, folk music. And what kind of acts are coming up this season? This season, uh, our season starts in September. We, we have uh, Jim Shula and the Monkey Beats. Of course, Jim Shula is best known as a guitarist for George Thurgood. And then in October, we have Eddie Shaw. Eddie Shaw played for many, many years with Howlin' Wolf. In fact, he was Howlin' Wolf band leader and, and songwriter for Howlin' Wolf. Yeah. And in, in November, we have the Nighthawks. Nighthawks have been playing for over 30 years, have been entertaining audience around the world. They play R&B, blues, jazz, and just a, a variety of different music forms. And what if you have some local aspiring acts out there? How can they get in touch with you? And you know, what, what's the process in general if they want to perform here? What we would ask them to do is consult our website, theellington.org, T-H-E-E-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N.org, and just uh, send us an email and let us know that they're interested. Uh, we've been having Ellington Fridays, again, which, uh, which features from uh, September through the end of April the second and fourth Fridays, and uh, let us know that they're interested. And I like the stage area, and, it, and I like the whole setup here. It's, it's really neat with the checkerboard bottom there, and, and um, I love to dance. So you have a dance floor area. Uh, yes, we do. Some of our form performances, uh, people come to, especially to dance. Uh, many folks come to just to listen and enjoy the artists. But this building, by the way, is, uh, was built in the early 1900s. And it was built for theater. In fact, it's, it's uh, the oldest uh, little theater in Virginia and the second oldest little theater in the South. Wow. And the acoustics is just out of this world. Uh, in fact, we just had an upgrade to our sound system about a year, year and a half ago. And it's the best, I guess, the best acoustic you're going to find on a 100-mile radius. Wow. And, and the Ellington itself is a nonprofit group, isn't it? Yes, we will file one C3, and we encourage people that, uh, that want to uh, contribute to us or support what we're trying to do. They can do that by making contact with us uh, on our website or by uh, contacting with our board members or by writing us at 421 Ribbon Avenue, the Ellington. Uh, in fact, uh, about 10% of our budget is funded by the Virginia Commission of the Arts. And uh, most of our shows, uh, the cost of them are underwritten by individuals, local business persons. So uh, that's for the mainstream acts along with the Ellington Friday acts. So we would uh, certainly encourage those that want to continue to see us grow and, and do what we do continue on a continuous basis to continue to support us. And they can do it this way, and they also, folks could come out and support you by attending, because you guys also not only do things for aspiring acts, but for the youth in our area too, don't you? Yes, we do. In, in fact, I'm glad you mentioned that. We, ha we are very proud of uh, our program that's called the Music Bridge. The Music Bridge is, a, is an effort to get young people involved in music. It's a partnership with Lynch, the, the uh, music department, Lynchburg College, the Jubilee Family Development Center and the Ellington. 
And at present, we have 13 youth that are involved in taking group piano lessons. Uh, we've, we've found, and, and studies indicate, that uh, youth that are involved in music it just helps their development tremendously, and it spills over into the classroom work and, and the overall development of their, them as the character and, and everything. And you need to check out the Ellington. It's out on Rivermont Avenue in Lynchburg, 434-845-2162. And you can get more about their schedule at theellington.org.